Richard Report, you just beat Fabiano Caruana with the black pieces. Um, sounds like a big game for you. Yeah, certainly this is a new new feeling. I think this is my first uh, classical win against him. Um, I didn't have, I mean, I still don't have such a good score actually. Plus, okay, he's a, an extremely strong player, but also a, a very nice guy. And I'm a bit feeling sad that I uh, beat him today with a bit of uh, luck. Yeah. Um, where did it? Um, what were the key moments in the game today? Uh, yeah, so he surprised me with uh, his first move already. I went for some things that I've checked uh, during throughout the event uh, for some other game. Um, yeah, this knight h6 I think was played uh, according to my knowledge at least once uh, in, in some online uh, online game. Uh, I think uh, yeah, and it was bishop d2 I think in that game. And he went it takes d6 queen g5, which was uh, I mean okay uh, I didn't expect this line, so I don't know if I have checked it or not, but it, I didn't remember. So we went for this end game, and uh, it was very concrete with knight e5, knight f7, attacking on c6, uh, bishop e3, f3, very strange position. Uh, there are not so many pieces on the board, but uh, somehow the position is, uh, you know, so weird. Uh, he's having a, a huge uh, position advantage on the queen side. I have the same on the king side. Uh, during the game, I felt like, okay, uh, maybe it's somewhat unpleasant, but then when he allowed uh, my pawns to advance, on the king side, I I got some uh, invisible at least counterplay, and then he just um, yeah he just blunder. I mean I mean I think this g4 was already kind of dubious, but uh, after knight e5 he just blundered. Rook d4 knight e knight g4 bishop g4 e5. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah he lost like the pawn on g4, um, and it was such a massive block there. Yeah, and then after that I suddenly wasn't sure what to do. I mean of course I'm I'm clearly uh, I'm the one who is playing for a win now. But still, uh, like he played this knight three and I played rook h6. I don't know if it's a good move or not. Uh, I just didn't see clear, uh, you know, um, way to convert. Every time his knight is on time or he's collecting a pawns or has some counterplay, so I tried to do go for something which is relatively one-sided. And uh, when he took on e5 and rook e6, knight g4, it, he kind of gave me that. I'm not sure if you know I'm serious how much better I am, but he, it's completely one-sided game. So maybe he should, shouldn't have done that, I thought. Uh, maybe e4 was better instead of knight e5, or just something to, to hold uh, the position for, for a bit more. <coughs> and yeah, and after that, I think he, he just started to miss a couple of things. Um, like after bishop e6, rook g1, I think it's just a blunder, rook f8, and he has to move with the knight, uh, and, and things like this. And suddenly, okay, we are, we are kind of short on time, and I have this uh, like tactical ideas with g3 all the time, I mean with the pawn g4, h4, and uh, bishop e4, bishop f3 is a threat. So he was kind of in a minute of swung, and, um, yeah, I exploited this, that he was short on time and the position was really um, tricky, let's put it this way. Um, yeah, I think you had a good start of the tournament. Um, and then you lost to Magnus, a couple of draws. Um, now you're back at plus two, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I had a good start, if you can call uh, losing in the first game a good start. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah so I had a, let's, let's put it this way, the first uh, half of the tournament or quarter of the tournament was much more... Uh, you know, up and down than um, than this one, right? So I won. Uh, I, at one point, I was on plus two. Yeah, I lost to Magnus. Um, uh, this Catalan. Yeah, of course, uh, I had my chances in that game to to make a draw, but obviously, I I, I didn't use them. Well, and after that, I had some uh, okay, some exciting game against uh, Shach, uh, and some not so exciting game against Sergey, and then uh, I had this game yesterday with Vidit, which I felt like uh, okay, it was a huge uh, position out of the opening, and I had some chances uh, afterwards. But I misplayed it uh, in the time travel phrase, and uh, it, it was just um, yeah. Like in in that game, you had like this opposite color bishop ending. Um, did you check it afterwards? Like, was there a chance to win? No, I mean uh, I don't. It was very strange, you know, because I saw it immediately a draw. Of course, if he goes like with g5 at any time after move 40, and he's thinking forever, like he can play g5 immediately or bishop g2 f for g5. It's just uh, that draw. And then he didn't see this idea for some reason, and he went for this, um, what he did, yeah, which is, uh, okay, a much more creative, but also a much more difficult way to defend. But I think, uh, sadly for me, it wasn't, I wasn't ever on time, because he has this idea of his h4, gh, which page five, which was just really funny, yeah, because, uh, you know, he's thinking so much, and uh, instead of easy draw, he goes for something uh, which is requiring some skill. So I figured maybe I have some practical chances, but objectively, I think uh, it was just, um, it was just a draw. Um, rest day coming up, three more rounds. Um, is there enough fire in you? Is there enough energy for the next three rounds? Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just see after the rest day. <laughs> okay, I wish you all the best. Thanks.